in a world where carbs are your enemy, you need one man to help you fight your battles. That man is Jimmy. Combating nutrition, disinformation, and general bull. It's Jimmy Rants. JimmyRants.com. What's up, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another Instagram Live, and we're here with another episode of Jimmy Rants. JimmyRants.com is the website. If you want to engage in the fun, you got to go follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Living Low Carb Man, L I V I N L O W C A R B M A N. Once you're there, you can engage live in the content, just like all these beautiful people coming in right now. Thank you guys for being here today on Jimmy Rants. If you missed the live, you can watch it on replay for up to 24 hours. After 24 hours, poof, it disappears. You'll need to pop on over to YouTube, and you definitely want to go to YouTube this week if you are interested in the subjects we're going to talk about here today. Just type in a keyword, Jimmy Ranch, you will find the show. Finally, the best of the best moments of this here show is in podcast form. It's the Jimmy Rants podcast over on Apple Podcast and Stitcher. And all of these links, you guys, are conveniently located at JimmyRants.com. Today's Jimmy Rants is the first one of a whole bunch of ones that are coming over the next two weeks. So those of you that follow me on social media, you know that yesterday, as of the recording of this... I put out a challenge to you to try a seven-day water salt fast. Now, I know just the mere mention of the word fast to a lot of people gets people to recoil in fear. Uh, I know my friend, uh, Caitlin, uh, she was like, yeah, no, go ahead. You, You have fun with that. Whereas other people were just like, yeah, let's do this. So what we're talking about here today is, are you ready for a seven-day water fasting challenge? Because it's about to be on, and it's about to be on strong, starting on this Friday, July the 5th, 2019. Uh, And if you're watching this on YouTube long after that, you can start a fast whenever you want. But what I wanted to do on Jimmy Rants was to give you uh, a series of videos that will help prepare you whenever you're ready to do a longer fast. Um, And so I'll be doing that all week long, you guys. I'll be doing a series of Jimmy Rants that will talk about various aspects of doing an extended fast, why you do an extended fast, what the purpose is, and all that jazz. So on this introducing of the challenge, I thought... Let me share some resources that you might want to go ahead and get on hand. So those of you that know my work, you know I wrote a book all about fasting. So fasting has been one of these love-hate relationship type of subjects that I've had for many years. And I had the fortuitous uh, timing of being asked to speak on the same stage as Dr. Jason Fung back in 2015. So he and I were on the stage uh, together at this conference for Tim Noakes, and I had never heard of him before. And so Dr. Fung was up there dropping F-bombs from the stage, literally F-bombs. But he was so fascinating on his stuff about fasting, and he started talking about extended fasting. And I had never really heard of that before, plus it didn't sound very desirable. It was all I could do at that point to just muster up the gumption to do intermittent fasting. So I went up to Dr. Fung afterward, uh, after his talk, and I said, is there a resource about how to do extended fasting? I want to do maybe like three, five, seven days. He said, no, there's really not. I said, well, we need to write that book. So that is how the complete guide to fasting was created 
This book came out in 2016, Victory Belt Publishing, and he and I collaborated on this book. Excellent resource, if I do say so myself, uh, to help you understand the why of fasting, to understand how you can implement it, what strategies to do, what strategies not to do. Uh, you know, we really did try to make it a complete guide to fasting. Um, it's available on Amazon. If you have Amazon Prime, you can go there right now. Well, not right now, when you're done with this video, uh, and get it in a couple of days on in paper. Uh, but there's also the audiobook, and there's also, uh, and read by me, I read the audiobook, and and then the Kindle and other eBooks that are available. So get a copy of this book, you guys. It's going to be a a godsend to you as you seek to do this longer fast. Because yes, I'll be here for you on Jimmy Rants and giving encouragement uh, videos. And oh yeah, by the way, when we start on Friday, you're not by yourself. I'm going to be checking in with you guys twice a day on Jimmy Rants to just see how you're doing, answer questions and just whatever pops up and give you some encouragement along the way. So some other things that you might want to consider adding to your arsenal, preparing for this fast, if you're going to do it with us on Friday, and I hope you do. I threw this out on a whim yesterday just to see what kind of response I would get, and I only shared it on Instagram and maybe on one of my Facebook pages. Just very minimal. I had over a thousand people say they wanted to do it. What? <laughs> so I'm very happy uh, to be, I guess, opening up this opportunity for so many of you to do it. I think sometimes when we have to do something like fasting by ourselves, it can seem a little overwhelming that you don't want to really do anything like that by yourself. But knowing now that you have over a thousand people joining you, that should give you encouragement. So uh, let me tell you about some of these little tricks of the trade if you're going to start fasting and maybe you want to order these things today so that by the time Friday comes, you're ready to roll. The first one is these fasting drops from this company called Keto Chow. So uh, they were just at Keto Con this past weekend. And, and so I bought a big old bottle from them there of these fasting drops. They have a little one that's like a little uh, eye drops size one as well. Just get these. And what is it? It's high concentrations of sodium and magnesium that you do drops in a water. And when you are fasting, one of the big mistakes people make that causes hunger and headache and fatigue and all the nastiness that sometimes comes with fasting, um, they're not balancing their electrolytes. So make sure that you can get some of these. So where do you get these fasting drops? If you go to jimmylovesketochow.com, jimmylovesketochow.com, uh, they actually give you 10% off your order if you use LLVLC at checkout. They've been a longtime supporter of mine, and this, I think, is one of their gold products that they've ever come up with, the fasting drops. They also have one called electrolyte drops, which is more of a mix of all the electrolytes. These are specifically designed for what you're dumping uh, when you are on a full-on extended fast. Now, another thing that you might want to stock up on and pink Himalayan sea salt works. Just don't use Morton salt because that's just fake chemicals. But I have fallen in love with this product here. Redmond's Real Salt. And guys, this little container here, I mean, you can pour it out into your hand. See, I got some in the hand there. Well, you might not be able to see it because it's so bright. There it is. And then you just, that's it. I know to, to some people that seems so gross, but that, wow, that was really salty. Uh, that, let me catch my breath a second. <sighs> yes, that was an intense amount of salt, but that will lift you up. And it, when you're in the midst of a fast, this is your lifeblood. Because if you get any fatigue, you get any hunger, that was a bad idea putting that in my mouth because now my throat's burning. You keep it real here on Jimmy Rants. So. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Um, 
Anytime you feel any kind of negative symptoms that you think you need to eat food, it's usually salt that you're missing. And so now my eyes are watering. See, Jordan's sitting there uh, laughing at me. Yes, laugh at me, Jordan. That's okay. Um, so between the fasting drops, which would go in your water, that should keep your levels up. But sometimes this gives you a nice little boost along the way. And those guys are my strategy. And then drink plenty of water. And I'll get into all that once we get going with the fasting on Friday. <clears throat> Which technically, if you're going to start, this is the 4th of July week. So technically, when you start 4th of July, whatever your last meal is that day is when you're starting fasting. Because you're not going to eat probably till midnight on 4th of July. You, you, you shouldn't anyway. Um, so I'm planning on maybe 4th of July, my last meal being around midday. <clears throat> and then and then starting basically 4th of July and officially start 5th of July. So, so if you're just joining us, we are throwing down the gauntlet to you guys. And so many of you have already responded long before I did the official announcement here on Jimmy Rants, but throwing down the gauntlet. Are you ready to try a seven-day water fasting challenge? We're going to start it on... Friday, July the 5th, 2019. And some people have written me already and they said, well, I've never fasted before. Okay, great. That's beautiful. I don't want the seven-day challenge to intimidate anybody. Because if you've never fasted before beyond just maybe intermittent fasting, most people in the keto space have intermittent fasted. A lot of people in the keto space have never gone beyond 18 to 24 hours of fasting. And quite frankly, I don't think everybody necessarily needs to go on an extended fast. We said that very clearly in our book that, you know, yeah, we're going to have this as a strategy, but not everybody necessarily needs to. Now, if you are a curious person and you've done keto a while and you're well keto adapted, aren't you kind of curious to see what it would be like? And so that would be something that I would say would be a great reason to try it. And it might be a one and done. It might be you try this, okay, that was fun, and then you're gone. That You don't do it again, and that's fine. So I think baby steps. If you've never fasted at all and you're not keto anything, then go keto. That's your first step. Go keto, get very well keto adapted. I mean, to the nth degree, go three to six months, get very well used to using fat for fuel off your body. That is the perfect start for most people. Most of you guys that watch me, you're already there. So what do you do now? Well, you probably have already spontaneously started intermittent fasting. So if you already intermittent fast 18 to 24 hours, <clears throat> then if you go 36 to 48 hours of a fast, that's the longest you've ever done. And if you commit to this seven-day challenge and you only make it 36 to 48 hours within that context, that's a win. I've had people, oh, I can't make it seven. Okay, make it what you can. We will be here when you're ready uh, to go longer. We will be here to help you. Go back and watch all these videos as people are going through this. Because there are certain challenges that come the longer you get into this fast that you don't think about when all you think of is, oh my gosh, I can't imagine going beyond 24 hours. So if you've already done, say, 48-hour fasts, I think 72 hours is a great goal. If you've gone three full days of fasting, which by the way, if you've done that, kudos, you start really getting the autophagy benefits, which we'll talk about in a future video. Um, wonderful, wonderful to do that. So 72 hours, you're ready for five days, maybe seven. And then if you've gone five days, you most certainly are ready for seven days. So... That's what we're doing, guys. We're giving you an opportunity to not just fast by yourself, <clears throat> which intimidates a lot of people. We're giving you an opportunity to do it together. And I want to be your personal mentor through this. I have done many, many, many fasts, you guys. I did a bunch of fasts preparing for the Complete Guide to Fasting and my contributions to it. I'm like, I can't talk about extended fasting if I haven't done it. So to date, I have done three 
21 day fasts in my life uh, over the past few years. I did one month, I wanna say it was in January 2016. I was trying to go the whole month just to see if I could do it. And I had some stressful things come up and we can talk about uh, stress and its impact during a fast in a future video. I got a lot of video ideas this week, you guys. Um, and so I, I made it 28 out of the 31 days because I did have to break the fast because of hunger from stress uh, a couple times, uh, three times specifically. So uh, we'll be here. We'll be here for you. And I think having that that buddy being able to be there, help you out, um, answer questions along the way. That's what I want to be for you guys. And I will be for you guys here on Jimmy Rants. If you happen to miss any of the live videos, they're all available on Instagram Live for up to 24 hours. They'll all be housed over on YouTube. So be sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Live in low carb man. If you type in a keyword Jamie Ranch, you'll find one of the videos and you can subscribe there. Um, I got so much content I want to share with you guys because fasting is one of those really interesting subjects that's an evergreen. It doesn't matter what the diet trend is. Right now it's keto, <clears throat> but it doesn't matter what the diet trend is. Fasting will always be a healthy part of any healthy lifestyle. And so... When people start thinking of fasting, they're not thinking of any diet uh, per se. Now, is fasting easier on a ketogenic diet? You bet it is. <laughs> Those of you that have done fasts, um, going keto made it a whole lot easier. And I will argue here today that going carnivore makes it even easier than keto. Um, just a little sneak peek into some of my mindset here going into this fast, why I'm so gung-ho to do it with you guys. By the way, the reason I'm doing this right here, right now, uh, this seven-day challenge of doing a week-long fast, is uh, many of you know I am going away on a six-month sabbatical that's two months from today. And one of my strategies I want to use, and I've run it by many of my friends in the keto space, uh, talk to a bunch of them at KetoCon. One of my strategies I want to use is an alternate week fasting. So I want to fast for a week with water and salt only. Then I want to eat just meat, salt, and water for a week. Um, and in the midst of that, uh, in the fasting week, I want to use a lot of biohacks like infrared sauna and ice bath therapy, uh, lymphatic vibration plate therapy. I've got all kinds of the red light therapy with the juve light. So no exercise during the week other than light exercise. Uh, no heavy lifting or anything like that during the fasting week. Now, during the feeding week uh, that the, I'm eating the meat, I'm going to go full bore lifting as heavy crap as I could possibly pick up. Uh, and doing some hit training and some other things. <clears throat> so between that strategy, which is why I'm doing this now, to kind of start getting used to doing week-long fasts again, um, something's got to give. Because if I do all that and there's still weight on my body and I'm still the same physique, something's bad wrong. So I'm an experimenter. We're going to see what happens. I think this will be... This will be really fascinating. So you guys, whether you know it or not, are actually helping me uh, train for when I'm completely gone, uh, exactly what I'll be doing. So logistically, you guys, this is 4th of July week. And so I thought about very briefly that we would start this fast tomorrow. Because I think sometimes we allow, well, it's 4th of July and I want to cook out, blah, 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 blah. So we allow the excuses to come in that prevent us from making changes to our health that need to happen. And in fact, uh, my pastor friend just texted me and he said, I see you're fasting starting on Friday. You know we got a big old pig roast on Saturday, right? I'm like, yeah, I know. But I got to do this for me. I think we put too many barriers in front of ourselves 
uh, ourselves and pretend like, well, I'll put off doing what's good for me until later. What if you don't have a later? And I know it's grim to think that way, but you have to think, okay, you're in the situation you are now. You where you're where you are now. Is that where you want to be? And if it's not where you want to be, then don't you want to do things that will get you to where you need to be? No excuses. And that's my mindset right now. So yes, I had a little grace on you guys by, by waiting until after the 4th of July. So if you're going to cook out, please go cook out. Eat all the fatty meats um, and enjoy. But come July 5th, it's game time. Let's do this. Let's get on this seven-day fast Go into it with a positive mindset that you're going to do well. And guys, I'm going to be here with you, doing it with you. So I'm not going to let you fall. If you've got questions, I hope you come on these Jimmy Rants episodes and you let me help you. I have so much experience fasting now. And it was interesting before uh, before KetoCon, uh, the Redmond's Real Salt people issued this three-day fasting challenge. And a bunch of my friends in the keto space did it. I didn't know anything about it or I would have done it. Uh, But I was noticing so many of them struggling. So many of them, you know, especially in that third day, they were just like about ready to bite your head off. They were so hungry. And there's strategies you can do to help with that. Now, there's so many mitigating circumstances that can cause that to happen. uh, Why people more, some people get hungry and others don't. Uh, But we'll talk about all those things. So are you guys in? A lot of you guys are on here today. I have a bump up of my normal uh, viewership by about 30, 40% it looks like right now. So you guys look like you are ready to do this. And I'm very curious to hear what you want to hear about in the lead up videos going into the fast starting Friday. And then of course, in the day to day of the seven days, I will document in video form here on Jimmy Rants. Um, all of the kind of how you feel, what's going on, all of those things. So I'm so excited for so many of you. A lot of you, you've never pushed it beyond 24. To you guys, that's super. The fact you you are ready to take it to that next step is going to be awesome. My favorite ones are the ones that have already done three days. And you know who you are. If you've done 72 hours of fasting, you're ready to do a week. You are. You don't know it yet, but you are. So so I hope you join us, you guys, on this upcoming fast. Let's see, what else did I want to say about this? That's, I just wanted to introduce the fast to you guys. If you're watching this on YouTube, I certainly want you to enjoy this as well and be a part of this as well. If you're watching it beyond when we started, that's fine. Fasting doesn't have a time on it. Fasting is good for you to do pretty much any time that you're ready to dial things in. And I realize it's not for the faint of heart. It's why I think people need to be mentally ready as much as physically ready. So yes, get physically ready, get fat adapted, and that makes this a whole lot easier. But mentally, people just can't get around all those little lingering questions. And we're going to address them in a future video. Well, I'm going to lose muscle I'm going to be starving hungrier and hungrier. I'm not going to be able to survive. We're going to answer all that for you. You're not by yourself. And I hope you feel that. And I hope you know that, that I'm fully committed to you guys helping you get through this. Because I fast pretty easy now. And it wasn't always that way. I have a chapter in the Complete Guide to Fasting called The Other F Word. Fasting was the other F word to me, and it was not fun. So now I call it not just another F word. (laughs) And yes, it's an F word, and you might be cursing an F word at me a time or two during this fast, but at the end, you will be very glad that you did this with me. All right, let's see what you guys have to say. Welcome in, welcome in. Thanks for being here today on Jimmy Rants. And yes, again, if you joined us late, it's going to be all fasting all the time for the next couple of weeks. Uh, Today, we're introducing the challenge and we're going to be doing a series of videos leading leading up to the challenge beginning on Friday, July 5th, seven days of fasting. Um, So I'm going to have 
pure content all about fasting literally all this week. And then we start the fast on Friday and I will be with you guys all the way doing fasting daily updates a couple of times a day on Jimmy Rants all the way until the end of the seven days. And then even a couple of days afterwards to kind of uh, teach you about how to reintroduce food and all of that. So you guys uh, stay tuned. If you're not interested in fasting, I'm sorry you're SOL the next two weeks, but that's what I'm doing. Bree says, I saw you at KetoCon. Sorry, I missed uh, an opportunity to say hello. Well, you should have said hello. I was working hard at KetoCon, going up and down the aisles of the, the main floor and going to some of the talks, trying to, if people wanted to meet me, say uh, have them say hello. So sorry we did not connect, but I was there. Uh, Karen says, it's been several years since I've done seven days. Wasn't keto then, so it should be easier now. Karen, you're going to be so surprised by how easy this is. It's, it really is. I love the complete guide to fasting. It changed my life, says Charming Confessions. Yeah, this little book is amazing. It's been a blessing in my life because when we released it in 2016, I knew there was a hunger, haha, <laughs> all pun intended, there was a hunger for more information about fasting. The problem was there was no books beyond intermittent fasting. And so we were the first one to really put out a book, Dr. Fung and I, um, that addressed alternate day fasting and extended fasting and looked at fasting from, at a deeper level than just the intermittent. Intermittent's great, but pushing it a little further has some really incredible benefits that I don't even think we fully know uh, about yet. So, um, and it does really well right now. This book right here is under 200 in all books on Amazon. And it has been since it came out in 2016 blows my mind. It's quickly approaching my, my sales on keto clarity. Keto clarity has always been my baby and has been the one that has been the big seller, half a million copies and counting, but this one's right on the tail. So <laughs> between those two, you are set in your health. Read the book twice, says Karen. Thank you. And says, I have it on audiobook. Yeah, um, I got to read uh, read from it because I do like to read audiobooks. And so, uh, yeah, I remember because we have fasting all-stars all throughout the book. And I remember... Fasting All-Stars, Mark Sisson. So, anyway, memories. Just ordered mine, says M.B. Nedley, talking about the fasting drops. Jimmy loves KetoChow.com. If you want to get some yourself, it'll definitely help. And again, the Redmond's Real Salt. I think if you just type in Redmond's Real Salt in a Google search, you'll find it. I don't have their exact address, and they're not a sponsor or anything. Um, I love chewing on Himalayan pink salt rock, says Heather. Yeah, I do too. I like the sensation, and I put it underneath my tongue. Um, I like the sensation of having um, the kind of rock salt. And, and Redmond's makes a rock salt as well, um, which I'll probably be using during the fasting that's coming up. Bess says, I always have water available when I'm eating salt. Sometimes it catches that spot in the back of my throat and it takes my breath away if I don't get a good swig of water. Yeah, I had that big old earlier, the big old, and it just started burning so bad. Uh, D. Dan is me, says, I was thinking you are hardcore taking that much in a shot. <laughs> hardcore is not the word. Cray cray is probably more the word, so. Keto Girl says she's ready to do this fast. Well, I'm glad you are. We need to have that enthusiasm going into this because mindset is everything. If you think you're going to fail, if you think you're going to be hungry, if you think negative thoughts about a fast, guess what? Don't be surprised when you fail. Don't be surprised. But if you go in and go, dang, I got Jimmy freaking more on my side and we're going to do this, you're going to do it. Have that positive mindset. Karen says, I'm in Cambodia, so I'll be 11 hours ahead of you. So you'll have to tell us uh, how it's going, Karen, when we come on Jimmy Rants. Jordan says, I've gone 72 hours before. So Jordan, you are exactly the person that this is right for. 
if you're willing to give it a go, I think you could go seven days. If you've made it three days, and I'm going to get into this more uh, on some of the future Jamie rants where I talk about mindset and getting ready for this fast. But if you've gone three full days of not eating, you can go seven. And I'll tell you why on those future videos. Uh, Berkeley says, only watch for a few minutes. House full of grandbabies. Well, go to those grandbabies. She's uh, excited to join us on the fast, was thinking of doing one anyway. Yeah, it was funny. When I threw this out on social media yesterday, I thought, okay, I'll get a, you know, 30, 40 people that might want to do it. To already <laughs> over a thousand people. Wow. Where'd you guys come from? Were you just like dying for me to ask you to start fasting? Apparently, because that's what happened. Uh, can you just be my personal life coach since I can't fast, says San Quitonio Prego. Yeah, Alyssa, I already am, sweetie. If I call you at six o'clock in the morning, then yes, we are already life coach friends. So Berkeley says, yours and Dr. Fung's book got me started on my journey to health. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Berkeley. Yeah, that like I said, this book has been about as much of a blessing in my life, not quite, but close, as Keto Clarity has been for me. Um, and I'm glad it's helped so many people, yourself included. Amy says, I love this idea. I'm glad you planned it to start Friday. Sounds good. So are you in? <laughs> Crying for Keto says, uh, that's Kimberly. Super excited to the new Jimmy rants on this subject. Yes, I, I have so many ideas, uh, but I want to try to make it useful, practical information. I think that's what's missing out there when it comes to fasting stuff. People are like, well, okay, I get the why, I get, I get the autophagy, I get the, the, just tell me the kind of intricacies of it. And that's what we're going to do in real time, you guys. So when we start doing these starting on Friday, um, that's what we're going to do when I'm doing updates. It's literally, all right, guys, it's day one. How you doing? Here's what's going on. Here's how, what you should feel and Blah, 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 blah. You know, we'll kind of go through it in the day-to-day -day once we get started on Friday. But getting that mindset right going into it is going to be so crucial to being being there. Do you plan on monitoring any labs on a regular basis? Great question, Alyssa. Thank you for that. So in the past, you guys know I am a nerd. Newsflash. And I like to test things and track things. And that's just... For public consumption, that's always fun. But I've come to the realization, the more I've done this, that that only adds a layer of stress you don't need to put in your life. It does. And so if you get jazzed, if you're one of those engineering type brains that you get jazzed and uplifted and everything's good by tracking meticulously every little thing that you're doing during a, uh, something like a seven-day fast and you want to test your blood sugar and test your blood ketones and all that, then you go for it. But if that stresses you out and it makes you worry, uh, oh my gosh, I need to do this, then don't do it. And I'm becoming more and more convinced that we are getting paralyzed in seeing real success with keto, with fasting, with whatever we're doing, because we overanalyze things. And I don't know if it's just because I'm about to stop all the work or not, but I'm just to the mindset of simplicity is the best policy. The simpler we can make things, the more implementable they become, and you'll stick with them. So no, not on this fast. Now, did I take a peek at my ketones yesterday? You bet I did. It was 1.0 on the Keto Coach X meter. My blood sugar was in the uh, lower 80s. So I'm feeling good. I know I'm ready to do this. I don't need a, a man-made machine to tell me that good things are happening. So for those that want to do that, please do. For the rest of you that, that just adds a layer of stress in your life, please don't. And I'll be right there with that latter group. Uh, I agree with you about carnivore. For me, I am less hungry. Fewer choices, the better. Yeah, Berkeley, uh, carnivore has been the game changer for me in 2019. Have I lost a ton of weight doing that? No, but as I've talked about and as I did a post this morning, the stress is a big one. 
um, and slowing down. Weight loss has started to happen because I am not spiking insulin and keeping inflammation low and all the good things because of carnivore. Um, but it, And it does put you in a good space, but it's not always the whole picture. Charming Confession says, I haven't decided if I'm going to join, but definitely interested in all the information you're going to give along the way. And that's the thing too. Sorry, my nose started itching all of a sudden. Uh, that's the thing too. If you're watching this, whether you're watching it on Instagram or on replay on YouTube, maybe you're listening on the Jimmy Rands podcast, I don't want you to feel compelled that you have to join us on July the 5th. That's when I'm doing it. So for seven days, starting uh, July the 5th, we're going to fast. Water and salt only. And don't feel obligated. I mean, if it's something that you don't think you're ready for, just being exposed to seeing so many people doing it all at the same time, and then all the information, is going to get you prepared for when you are ready. So there's no compulsion here. This is just me challenging my followers to do something that might be outside the box of what they've done before. So I want you to be ready when you are ready to do this. So no no, uh, no judgment, Charming Confessions, if you decide to just sit on the sidelines and take a look at what we're doing, learn, and then when you're ready, you're ready, right? I think that's a good lesson. So one thing that's come up I haven't addressed here yet that several people are like, oh, why is this? I put water and salt only. And people are like, well, what about bone broth? What about kombucha? What about, what about, the one that trips me out. What about fat? Can I have my fatty coffee? <laughs> <laughs> what part of fasting do you not understand? Yes, fatty coffee is not fasting anymore. Um... Please don't let anybody online tell you that. Fatty coffee will probably manage your insulin levels fine, but it's not fasting. So don't pretend like you're fasting if you're still drinking fatty coffee. As far as bone broth and kombucha, I used to do that. And I want to help you guys. I want to help you guys overcome the errors that I made when I started fasting because I thought I needed bone broth. I thought I needed kombucha, another thing. Well, they're healthy for you. They're, they're healing for the gut. Don't you want to? And what all it ended up doing was giving me diarrhea. And all it ended up doing was stoking hunger where there didn't need to be hunger. The first time I ever did a water salt only fast was the best experience I ever had because all those things that I attributed to the fasting was actually the bone broth and the kombucha. And so don't do that to yourself. I think water and salt is the game changer. That's what's going to get you the results that you're looking for. Glad you plan to play on the holiday. Yes. Uh, you are right. There's always going to be something we need to learn how to do this in real life. Val, that's exactly what... Um, what I think we need to do because there will always be something. It's so funny, like people starting keto. Well, I'll start after the holidays and it's like September. Like the holidays ain't even close to being here yet. Why are you going to start after the holidays? Can you start now? And maybe by the holidays you find you don't want all that crappy garbage. I'll start, I'll start once it's January 1st. Okay, what, what, what's, what's so magical about January 1st? Anyway, can you tell I'm over the excuses people give now? I'm a loving guy, but I will hold you to your feet to the fire if you try to throw excuses at me as to why you can't. Whatever it is, fasting, keto, whatever. Start off the fast with a bang. Yes, that's, that's a good way to put it, Kimberly. Go shoot your fireworks and then let's let's shoot the fireworks of not eating for a week. Kitty Caddick says, I wish I weren't fasting right now. I just love fasting with you. Well, you'll be there in spirit. Uh, a cat does regular fasting, uh, what, like three to five days on a regular basis, cat does. So, um, so you come in and you chime in, cat, because you'll have definitely things to share in the midst of the fasting. Uh, the keto apocalypse says I'm in. Well, yeah. And hopefully the apocalypse doesn't happen. I'm just kidding. That, 
play on words with you. <laughs> Carnivore Yogi says, I'm in for sure. Yay. Rising Phoenix says, I'm definitely going to try as long as I can. And that's all, that's all I'm asking. If I'm putting down the gauntlet of let's do seven days, don't think you failed if the longest fast you've ever done is 24 hours and you went 24 to 48, maybe 72 hours. That is huge. One of my friends in this space that did the Redmond's Challenge was Keto Coach Lauren. And Lauren uh, committed to doing the three days. The longest fast she had ever done up to that point was 48 hours. Her husband, Tyler, had also only done a fast up to 24 hours before. Both of them now have a new record. They both have gone 72 hours. So don't be moan if you don't reach the big goal that I'm setting. Celebrate what you did get. And I think that will make this a positive experience for everybody going in. And I'm going to be there to encourage you. Lori says it's Canada Day here in Canada. Glad I'm off to catch you live. Well, I'm glad you caught it live too. Thanks for being here. Oh, Canada. Uh, Nancy says, just wondering, is it realistic to attempt a seven-day fast? I've never gone past 24 hours. So what I was just talking about, if you've gone 24 hours and you go more than 24 hours, it's a win, okay? So don't feel that pressure, Nancy, that you have to push it to seven days. I'll be here to help with anything that comes up that might make you want to quit it, but it's, it's pretty cool to let your body see how far it can go. And guys, if you've done a fast before, even when you like were early on in, in keto and now you're more advanced in keto and more keto adapted, you're going to find it's so much easier when you're very well keto adapted to do this. And like I said, carnivore has even taken it to another level for me. Uh, Jet for mom says, I'm in. My longest fast has been 60 hours. I would like to know what you eat the day before you start a fast. Um, the day before you start a fast, lean in. Lean in real close. You eat food. Food. Shocker, I know. Um, no, but th there's no reason to, quote, prepare your body. Just don't undereat on the day before a seven-day fast. I think sometimes people are like, well, I'm about to fast. So let me kind of start titrating back the food. No, no. Don't start your fasting before you're fasting. When you're fasting, fast. When you're feasting, feast. And so on the 4th of July, fill your belly up with a whole lot of barbecue, right? Or whatever it is you're making, hamburgers, whatever. Because when you finish that meal, that is your last meal for seven days. If you're going to do this challenge with me. So no, there's no preparation for it. Just the only thing I'd urge you to do, don't under eat food. Uh, let's see here. And you went 60 hours. That's good. So you're going to easily make it three days, I would think. Bullock in 2018, my family vacation week. I'll do it later. And that's okay. Uh, build it around your life. If you already had things planned, so be it. Um, just know that this is something that you'll have to learn to incorporate in here and there. And what we're going to do in these videos on Jimmy Rants this week is show you how to do that. So if you joined us late and we got a whole bunch of people on here today, thank you guys for joining us today. We're talking about this challenge, seven day water fasting challenge it begins on Friday, July the 5th, 2019. So that's coming up this Friday, right after the holiday. Have that big old plate of barbecue and then be ready to not eat for seven days. So I urge you to go pick up a copy of my book. It's an international best-selling book called The Complete Guide to Fasting. Co-authored it with Dr. Jason Fung. And it gives uh, all of the information in there, not just about intermittent fasting, but alternate day fasting, as well as extended fasting, which is what seven days is uh, of fasting. I also urged you to go buy some uh, fasting drops. This is the big bottle that I got at KetoCon. They have little uh, small kind of eye drop type bottles. Um, and yeah, they are a godsend. It's very concentrated forms of electrolytes for the midst of the fast. So go to jimmylovesketochow.com if you want to get some of that. And then finally, some Redmond's Real Salt will be a godsend to have on hand. 
to pinch and have underneath your tongue. It's amazing when we think we're hungry, it's usually, usually one of two things. You're salt deficient or you're water deficient. So don't get dehydrated, drink plenty of water all throughout the fast. And so that's what we're doing here. That's what we're talking about here today. What's the best way to explain this to my family? They will think this is crazy and dangerous. So great question, fat is fat. I'm going to definitely address a lot of uh, these kinds of questions coming up. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it here. Briefly, though, if you, I'm assuming you're talking about at mealtimes. So if at mealtimes you want to sit with the family and have a glass of salted water uh, or even like put it in a bowl, and, and eat it like soup, you're still eating with the family. So don't tell them what you're doing necessarily, just do it. Be interesting to see their reaction. Um, so glad I got to see you at KetoCon, says Lorenza. Thank you, Lorenza, good to meet you as well. Thanks for taking a pic with me. I've never done a seven day fast and glad to have the guidance. Well, I will be here literally all of this week prepping you guys for it, so hopefully if you're around the holiday week this week, I'm going to be doing a crap load of videos trying to encourage you and uplift you in this because um, I know it's hard, and especially if you're not used to doing it. Um, and there's so many variables that can make it really hard. So stick around. We're going to be here to help you. And then literally from day one of this fast, I'm going to be your personal mentor chiming in here twice a day for you. Uh, starting on Friday and then until the end of the fast and then after the fast, how to break the fast. Uh, Naughty Bit says, apprehensive, but so determined to do this. Thanks for being our huggable rock. Oh, I like that. I, I, need, to, I need to have a shirt that says huggable rock. That'd be fun. Uh, is black coffee okay, says running nurse. I'll get into some of this later, but if you like black coffee and it gives you benefit, in the midst of fasting, then drink black coffee. I'm not gonna be anal retentive about it. When I say water and salt only fast, I'm trying to get people out of the mindset that they necessarily have to have sustenance in their body in the form of bone broth, kombucha, and other kinds of things. Black coffee is basically zero calories. Um, and so it should be perfectly fine. Uh, I'll be very interested in learning a good way to break the fast. Yes, Lorenza, that's coming. That's coming. <laughs> Keto Doc says, I'm in, Jimmy. Need to reset my metabolism, and this is the key. And you know that. Um, and I'll really look forward to hearing your insights, Keto Doc, as we go through this. The Keto Girl says, I will push through till I'm unable to. That's my goal. Well, I don't want you to look at it in that way. I don't want anybody white knuckling this. Fasting has become so intuitive for me that I don't think about it that way anymore. The way I think about fasting is, okay, I'm on a very specific protocol that I know is going to bring about health and healing in my body. And so if at any point I don't feel well, if at any point I feel like this is too much, I just, and I've salted and watered myself to death, then I end the fast. And I don't think you need to be the hero and, well, Jimmy made it seven days, so if I don't go seven days, I'm a huge fit. N no, don't do that to yourself. I saw several people in that Redmond's three-day fast, several people, they white-knuckled it to the end. And I'm like, guys, if you're hurting that bad, don't do that to yourself. You're just adding a layer of stress that you didn't need to add. And we'll talk about that more as we progress through these videos. What about taking supplements? So yeah, you guys are already getting into the general questions. Save those because I'm going to do a big general question Q&A um, session all about these questions you have about fasting. Uh, but in brief, I don't take my supplements during fasting. Um, number one, a lot of them require food. And if you don't take food, you get really bad gastrointestinal stuff. I've gone three days, says Lady Lixel. I'm looking forward to trying seven. You're going to get close, if not all the way there, Lady Lixel. I'm excited. Martha says, got off carnivore the weekend and felt like crap. I'm in on Friday. Excellent. Eat lots of fatty meat leading up to this. You'll be glad you did. Val says, July 5th would have been my dad's 100th birthday. It was also mom and dad's anniversary. A great day to begin something new. That's cool. 
special meaning for you, Val. That's cool. Hello, Keto Naughty. Are you going to fast with us, Keto Naughty? We need to do this seven-day fast. I need to harass you during the fast. Just kidding. It was good seeing you at KetoCon. RD Keto for Life. What's up, Robin? I do seven days once a quarter. So this is perfect timing. New quarter starts today. All right. So we got the famous, the wonderful, the awesome Robin Davis joining us on this fast. That's awesome. Uh, Greerstuh says, I did 15 days before. Yeah, let me tell you a little bit about why I chose seven. Number one, seven is long. <laughs> So it makes you think beyond intermittent fasting. I, I heard about the Redmond's three-day fast and I about laughed because three days, I can poop three days um, out of a fast. When you start thinking five, that's a little longer, but it's still not super long. Seven is a challenge. Seven is where it starts to go, okay, it's about to get real up in here. And so I found doing so many beyond seven though, that once you get beyond seven, you're not getting that much benefit beyond the seven days. Now you're getting benefit, don't get me wrong. But here's the here's my thinking. You can fast for seven days and then you can fast again pretty quickly after fasting for seven days. If you fast for 15, 25, 30 days, you can't fast again for months and months and months. You gotta let your body recuperate. And so seven days is kind of that seemingly uh, perfect balance between long enough, but not too long. So that's why I'm excited about doing the seven day fasting. So guys, the bottom line in this Jimmy Rance is I'm laying it down as a huge gauntlet today. And I hope you're picking it up off the ground because we're going to run with this bad boy. Are you ready for a seven day water fasting challenge? I'm going to be your personal mentor all week long, providing all kinds of video information. If you missed any of the past ones, I'm going to have them all housed on jimmyrants.com. We have the embedded videos literally right there. You can also go follow me directly on my YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash living low carb man. I'd be happy to uh, answer questions as they come in here on Jimmy Rants. So have those ready for me, you guys. We're going to have a lot of content leading up to starting on July the 5th. Then July 5th, all the way through the seven days, I'm going to chime in twice a day in real time, fasting with you and sharing some of my experiences. And I want you to share your experiences. We're all going to get through this together. Kate says, I won't be joining you this time, but I will be tuning in for the tips for my next, next fast. My June fast was 72 hours. I think I will try that seven days at the end of July. Kate, that's what I hope happens. I want this to be a resource for if you're not joining us on my challenge, that's cool. Don't worry about it. Uh, but I want this to be an encouragement and education for other people. That's it for this episode of Jimmy Rants. JimmyRants.com is the website. As always, you can engage live in the content. All you got to do is go follow me over on Instagram Live. You got to go follow me there, though, at Livin Low Carb Man, L I V I N L O W C A R B M A N. Danielle says, I'm in. Woo woo. Uh, if you missed the live, you can watch it on replay for up to 24 hours. After 24 hours, you need to go over to YouTube, type in a keyword, Jimmy Ranch. You will find the show. Finally, the best of the best moments of this here show is in podcast form. It's the Jimmy Ranch podcast on Apple Podcasts as well as Stitcher. All of these links, you guys, are at JimmyRants.com. So until next time, we'll see you then.